Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about The Little Mermaid, the live action Little Mermaid. We're gonna complain fiercely about a character redesign, but it's not the one you think. It's not the I one. I give up trying to complain about the one you think. Um, yeah, so Sebastian has been revealed. And of course we know this is a live action Disney movie and he basically is a photorealistic crab with googly eyes. I just, I mean, I get why. He's gonna be singing and dancing like like crab rave. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, this coupled with the trip, like look, the whole issue with Halle Bailey and then race swapping Ariel is the least of the problems this movie is gonna have. I think it's gonna be a disaster. I think it's gonna be like The Lion King where it's a pale, pale imitation of just, the original. I just can't wait to be accused of racism because you know I don't wanna watch this movie, mostly because it's a live action remake. I don't watch any of the live action remakes because they're garbage. They are garbage, yes. Um, and that's why I, I mostly I choose not to watch it. But you know, I can't wait to be called racist for not watching the movie over like the fact that it's a shitty live action remake. That's what's gonna happen. If this movie winds up being crap, which again, given the track record with Disney and live action remakes, it probably will be crap uh, and forgotten about in a Even year. Even if Ariel was white and had red hair, I still think it's gonna be crap. I think it's gonna be crap, right? So yeah, what's gonna happen is the narrative is gonna be like, well, all the racists- That's exactly what it's gonna be. Oh my God, which does not do her a favor, by the way. It doesn't do- No, Ellie she's, she's actually out there making comments like mm. that doubling down on that herself, so. Anyway, um, but that's a whole nother issue. Let's talk about Sebastian, how I think that this is going to be some serious Uncanny Valley oh, it's, stuff. It's, it's going to be weird. It's going to be so weird. Especially given the utter state of Disney's VFX. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about MODOK too. Everybody's making fun of MODOK. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 296,000 subs. Almost 300,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We want more subs. So hit the subscribe button, like and ring the bell and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, so this was revealed in a book cover. I just, and at Twitter. first I thought, well, maybe it's because it's the artist's interpretation. But when you see the cover as it is, it's actually at the bottom, like it's a, it's a clipped out of the film. Yes. And because um, if you see the whole cover, it's like, yeah, you look at it and then it's, you see this, but the whole cover is actually, this is actually a puzzle, I guess. It's yeah. a puzzle. But look, like they have like the, the movie at the bottom, like you see this yeah. realistic looking coral and stuff. It's uh, so. Flounder's gonna be horrifying. Scuttle looks hor and Scuttle Oh, Scuttle is Aquafina. Aquafina now, okay. Cause you know, yay. Uh, <laughs> this looks like, I mean, it actually looks like a mural at like Caribbean beach or something to me. It doesn't look like official like. They're like, oh my God, he's so cute. No. Uh, no, so this is, this is not, this is not going Wait, so that, this flounder then? That's flounder. Because people saw, okay, they showed that fish in other clips and people said, oh, that's not flounder. That's just a generic, a random fish. No, apparently that's flounder. People can't oh my God. wrap their heads around the fact that this is going to look weird as hell in, in live act. It is. It's going to look weird as hell. Just imagine his, his little googly eyes and his mouth singing. And They uh, made her hair not red again in the puzzle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's read this article. This come from Movie Web. Lots of people talking about it. I tweeted about it yesterday, and I'm like, I, I just I just give up. I just give up. Um, I gave up a long time ago. They said the uh, the same issues as those faced by the likes of the Lion King, as the first good look at Sebastian the Crab has received very mixed responses from fans of the '89. I just think movie. some things do not translate to live action. Yes, you know, I mean, the Little Mermaid. You can do the character of Little Mermaid in live action. Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle are another story entirely. They're, you know? they're hiding them. They're deliberately, like, we saw the teaser, and they're hiding them. Anybody remember Jiminy Cricket and live-action Pinocchio? Yeah. I'm just... They're hiding the animals. They're hiding Ursula. You saw a little um, bit of her in the clip, but yeah. You know, I, I think they're hiding them for a reason. I think they look... Not good, but I mean, you can only hide them for so long, especially as more merchandise leaks out and people are like, what the hell is this? I don't think you should use the word titular when you're talking about a female because it just sounds bad. I keep saying that. The titular mermaid. Um, yeah. So they said that the, uh, they said once again, proves that turning an animated animal caricature, oh, this is really some, and animated animal caricature 
into a more accurate interpretation has its drawbacks. Uh, Sebastian's new appearance does follow the trend as seen in other live action remakes yes. like Aladdin, Lion King, and Lady and the Tramp, all of which are forgettable movies, taking away the cartoon elements of the character and instead giving him a more realistic appearance. However, like in those previous movies, the natural world doesn't exactly allow the animal characters to be quite as expressive as their animated counterparts. And that's something that comes across as the main issue. Again, these are not actual live action animals, though. They're based on, it is mostly a CGI movie mm-hmm. with human faces like pasted on. So why couldn't you make them a little more cartoony? You know what I mean? You could. You could. You could Sonic the Hedgehog them, I guess. Um, that would be a little. Oh, and well, here we go. Oh, it's going to be great, even though there's an online complaint to the race or gender swapping and characters. It's like, you know, look, this movie I do not, do not think is going to do that great. I really, it's, truly it's don't. Not. And her not being white, I'm sure that's going to be a problem for some people. I'm sure people, there are races out there who are mad about it. But I think the majority of people don't want to see it because, one, it's a live-action remake, and the live-action remakes are lazy and they're stupid and they usually look like garbage. And they are, they've all fallen like a lead fart for the most part. And, you know... How does that work? I don't know. Do you get colon cancer from I that? don't know. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's something my mom says, my grandma said. So I just say it. Um... They also say fart in a mitten. So, you know, anyway, um, <laughs> it's just, you know, there, there's a lot of reasons people aren't going to like this movie. Yes. And I, 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 you know, I'm sure some people are not going to like it because, you know, she's not white. And they're going to scream racism if it doesn't do well. But I think a lot of it's because it's just, why do we need a live action remake? And then when you see the other characters, they know they're, it's not going to work. It's really not going to work. So here's the thing. I mean, this movie is heavily dependent on VFX, and we know that Disney is pushing their VFX houses to the, the max, right? Everybody is still talking about how god-awful MODOK looks in Ant-Man 3. And uh, I couldn't help but notice the similarity between MODOK and... Hey, Minoy. hey, MODOK. <laughs> hey, MODOK. Knife! <laughs> Just um, couldn't resist. I, I, I had just, to watch a lot of Annoying Orange. We, we watched a, little... a lot of Annoying Orange, and somehow Annoying Orange is still going and gets more views than Wait, we Wait, it's still on? Yes, it is. And he's got oh like God. 19 different Annoying or- Orange uh, channels. That guy's set for life. Hey, man. it he's... works better on Annoying Orange than when the guy did the, the stupid thing with the figment popcorn bucket on TikTok and Disney oh, paid God. him to do it. So, yeah, I think that um, I personally think they're hiding a lot of this movie. Wrote, I think with Patton Oswalt's more menacing, you failed. Well, yeah, I mean, this is Patton Oswalt's MODOK. And that was like, why are you making MODOK such a doof? And it's like, <laughs> just wait, just wait. <laughs> Hold man. my beer. Um, I, I just, I think that Disney is definitely pushing their VFX artists too, too hard and they're cutting corners. And I don't see that improving. And this is a movie that is... Uh, heavily dependent on VFX, and I think it's going to come across like cats. I think it's going to be like it's not. But then they can oh patch God. it. They can patch it, you know, during opening weekend and be like, we forgot to put a butthole on the mermaid. I was going to say her on Sebastian Flounder. Oh my God, Fla- where's Flounder? Yeah, they want realistic. Why isn't the fish swimming around with like tails, like like little like like little poop, poop strings? Strings. Yeah, I've fallen behind them. That's not Disney magic. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I look as we're going to see more in the coming weeks. I mean, we're only three that's, months. I mean, yeah, his mouth is cute, but I'm just like, that's just, we're, that's just weird. we're only, we're only what? Three months away from this movie. And May, we've yeah. barely seen anything of it. That is not a good sign. Like normally they are promoting the hell out of these movies. Like, but they already they already have a built-in defense. If it doesn't do well, it's because of racism, and that's exactly what they're gonna say. And that again, that's that's really it's never our fault, guys. We expected more out of our audience. We expected more. It's our, out of our audience. I guess it's our fault because we expected you people to be better. Oh god, just <laughs> dump it on Disney Plus and call it a day, right? Pretty much. Just, just be done with it. We're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.